litter in here. We're headed to the vet and um, we are um, all happy but one. We're kind of packed in here. Let's see if you can see. So I have some extra room over there. I've got a bunch of baby blankets on top here. So these baby blankets we're going to use. We, we had to give everybody, called them outside so they poo poo potty. Hopefully nobody potties because they're so crammed in there. Got the air on high. So they shouldn't be hot. Um, that red boy of caboodles is just going to be enormous. Turbo can make some big puppies. He can make some big puppies. Anyway, just wanted to say we're headed for health papers. I could obviously not get my chip litter in here also. So I have to go back tomorrow because I have company Wednesday and then we have pickups Thursday. So these puppies are about to go home. It seems kind of, oh yeah, I think I shaved. Um, I don't know. Odd, they're almost ready to go home. So these Caboodle puppies are eight weeks old and the Piper puppies were seven weeks Friday. So they're leaving, a couple of them are leaving Thursday for their new home and we are all so excited. Yes, we are. Everyone is excited about getting their baby puppy. I talked to puppy Nanny. She's leaving Thursday to go up north. And as soon as she gets back on Tuesday, she's headed to California. So she's got an El Paso. Um, I got to pick up Wednesday from Houston. That orange girl, Caboodle. Anyway, I could not find my litter things with their microchips on it. I was looking for that and I couldn't find that today. Which I really wanted to find that today because I like taking that with me so all of our microchips match. Did not have time to fix my hair. I got a haircut tomorrow so I know it doesn't look long to you and I've cut the top. I've cut this but I haven't cut this so I almost look like I've got a mullet right? It's getting long in the back. <laughs> I just colored a week ago Sunday. We didn't even get to church yesterday. I got a shower and anyway. Then we had company. So that was crazy. Uh, someone from Oakland that had moved to Berryville. I knew these people were not from Arkansas when they called. Anyway, wonderful people and they found a beautiful puppy. So excited about that. And Yes. So there's only a couple of puppies. We don't know exactly where they're going. I think this red boy is going to weigh 20 pounds today, which is the biggest of the big I've ever had in a dog de Bordeaux or a bull mastiff. That's huge. I was going to run back in and get a jacket, but I was running late. Anyway, just wanted to say. My Cali litter has definitely stabilized and they're sleeping in a box and coming out of a box. They were chewing on their heaty pad cord today, so no more heaty pad for you. You get big enough to chew on your cord. So I took that away from them. They were three weeks Wednesday and they're fine. They are fine. Uh, that little bitty Giggles girl, oh gosh, she's going to be little. I mean, she's going to be an 80-pound bull mastiff. She's little. Latin. Latin is little. And, then I, and I haven't got a home for her yet. So, as many people as I turn away, I need to find her a home. Lefty, that Cali puppy with the funky foot. I mean, he seems totally normal except his funky foot. So we'll see. My help had a doctor's appointment today. So, but Matthew said he had helped me this evening. Trista's son. Oh my goodness, he's grown up. He's almost 200 pounds and he's 13. He's big. And he's wonderful, helpful. He's mentally clear and moves from one thing to another. So, kind of excited about him coming and helping me. 
So got some things to do, got some mowing. Praise God, we got some rain. So dry. I mean, I've seen it drier, but still. Uh, we needed rain. We really needed rain. We needed rain. I hope I don't get cold. I've already got chill bumps. I've got baby blankets. I can cover up with baby blankets, right? See all these baby blankets up front. So the baby blankets have to be used by the puppies and go through the laundry a couple times, then rubbed on their mother before they really smell like us. You just can't get a baby blanket and it smell like us. So this was funny. I did a video of Chip's Red Boy, and he was with his mommy and he was just crazy mommy 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 <laughs> it's pretty funny she's loving him too so you know people have some kind of strange idea that these puppies stay with their mother until they leave and that's not true the mothers can step on them or lay on them or and they suck on the mothers and they make they break the bag down and the mothers don't want them sucking on them and chip is completely dry and they have sharp teeth they chew on them and so we just don't do that i only had one time that she wasn't this puppy's mother but she was a mother dog and and i adored her but she really made me mad one time she jumped she can if i opened the gate we had a little baby gating and she'd jump in to be with the puppies because she did love them she loved them and uh, this was, I think, two litters in this pen. It wasn't just one, so there's probably 10 or 12 puppies in there. And I, I called her. It was Nikki Sue, and I said, come come here and get out of there. No, no, she wouldn't get out of there, and I shut that door, and I knew better. When I came back an hour or two later, she had to defend herself, right, against all these teeth. She had injured one in his head. She had actually fractured his skull, which, I guess he wasn't very smart before then, but... They, they can't just let the puppies chew their tits off because they will with those sharp teeth. They just get neurotically. So they you have to discipline them and teach them self-control to control their own emotions. So we're headed over and it's Monday. I can't believe here it is the end of August and I haven't got to go swimming yet. I will. My puppies are finally getting, they're three weeks old. They're finally getting old enough for me to leave for, because it's almost an hour over there. It's a hard 45, 50 minutes over there. And back. And I want to stay three or four hours when I get there, so my puppies need to be older. Steffi is enormously, enormous, so... Try not to be concerned about her baby belly. She's really hanging low, too, really low. So I'm very excited about this Bosley litter with her. Oh Lord, bless this litter. And then I don't know if Cinnamon and Serenity are pregnant or not. I think they are. They're running around together and they're just being wonderful. Nobody's fussing and fighting, I think as they were coming into heat. They don't call them bitches for nothing. When they start to go into their cycle, they were picking at each other and fighting with one another. And now they're free. They go out together all day, all night. They've been, I haven't separated them in a couple weeks now. Although, as they get bigger and pregnant, I will separate them because I don't want them jarring a puppy loose, playing hard. So I will. Oh, we have got a new dog today. It's actually a Turbo Times Bunny girl came back to me, and I have been so crazy busy. I've not gotten to pull that paperwork, and I've lost these the contact. These people contacted me and said, "Will you take her back?" I said, "Of course." And I love everything about her, but her muzzle. I love the length of her neck. I love her squareness. Of course, she's very soft, like a couch potato, and she's at least 10 pounds overweight, but she'll get there. I'd rather see him a little overweight than emaciated, right? But I do like her. Actually, speaking of emaciated, Tinker is getting a little fat. She will, I call her Tinker the turd. She can be. So she only had me two puppies. So we'll
we'll see. And they had an excessive amount of white on them. I wasn't pleased about that. I know, babies. I know. I know. We're all going to be okay. So my work begins when I get to the beds. So I only have a litter of nine and a litter of eight. And I have to run them in and out. That was me, just me, all by myself. <laughs> But it's okay. It's what I do. It's not that it's that big a deal. It's just trying to keep the van cool. And keep, I brought some water buckets for the babies. They'll probably be ready for some water by then. So, anyway, praise God. It is a splendid, beautiful day. Look at that blue sky. Blue sky smiling at me. Nothing but blue skies do I see. There you go. I'm going to sign off. Pray for everyone that heaven is our real home and things are looking up and God is always good. He is never the problem. Amen.